Hey guys, I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're the owners of Titan Medical Center. We want to welcome you to our world of optimal health and wellness. We can help you out anywhere in the country with hormone replacement therapy, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, peptides, libido enhancers, blood work, and a lot, lot more. Everything that's gonna make you look better, feel better, and perform better, that's what Titan Medical Center can do for you. So call or text 727-389-3220 or you can visit us at www.titanmedicalcenter.com. I'm, I'm Ed. And I'm Amber Grace. This is my wife and um, I, we've noticed that um, I was losing interest in um, practically everything. I didn't want to go out. I didn't want to um, basically get off the couch. You know, and I get up in the morning, I didn't care about work, it was just terrible. And I was uh, noticing I was having all kinds of aches and pains, and no energy, and did not care about, um, my, actually my libido was, went to zero. And, uh, you know, we basically just been married, you know, not very long when this happened. And it almost happened like overnight with me. I can almost tell you the day, and then it went to zero. And uh, went to my doctor, and uh, I basically had to almost tell him what was wrong. I saw a commercial about the testosterone, and uh, mentioned at the end, "Oh, you want to try the Andro Gel?" So yeah, we tried it. I did that. Wasted a lot of money on it because it did not work. Then my wife uh, found Titan Medical on the internet, and we thought we'd come here and talk to them. We did some blood work, and they found out that my testosterone was almost in existence and um, so we started on the therapy for that and I can almost tell a difference right away after the first week I started feeling a little bit more energy and uh, a little bit more interest in my girl and uh, <laughs> um, the longer I was on it and I guess I've been doing this about, about a year and a half now and it's continually getting better I'm 56 years old and my wife's 35, just turned 35. And, you know, she's still active and I want to be active. And now I feel like being active. I go out with her wherever she wants to go. We go to concerts, we travel a lot, we go on cruises. And these are things that I would not even do at all. And then after I got on the, um, the uh, injectable testosterone, then uh, it expanded into more things into, um, you know, I was interested in weight loss. And so they prescribed some medication for me. And in the past year, I've lost 35 pounds with actually little or no effort. Uh, just my appetite has changed. I still eat everything I want to. I just, when, I, when I'm done, I'm done. And then, uh, so that helps with the energy level. I feel better. Um, I've had to buy a lot of new clothes, but uh, you know, it's all worth it. And I'm so glad that we, came here, I'm so glad that she found Titan Medical and because it's been a life changer for me. I honestly thought before this that I was on my way out of this world. I really felt that bad. But now I feel great. Seriously, I feel great. And, you know, I just don't know what else to say to these guys. I really believe they saved my life. I know for sure they saved my marriage. And, um, so, but I would do it over hundred times. I just wish I knew about them sooner. What's up guys, John here with Titan sponsored athlete ambassador, Jordan Ding. So, big things in the house, what's going on man? <laughs> Chill man, how are you? Good man, good, so we came on down, we had some new Titan gear that's just got released, 
and I got to take care of my family, my Titan family. So at that point, got some hats, got some jerseys, uh, set them up because this dude's already looking good. So at that point, we're gonna put these clothes, make them look even better, right? So that's what it's all about. Looking good, feeling good, and performing your best. That's what Titan Medical Center can do for you. What's up guys, John here, and uh, we're at Titan headquarters. And today we're gonna do the Hercules Potion Experiment. Well, that's gonna be where me, Andre, and Big Drew are going to inject Hercules Potion 30 minutes before we go have an arm workout today. And with these guys, it's gonna probably be pretty intense. But we're gonna do biceps and triceps today. We're gonna to see what the difference is pre-workout and after our workout. Um, and I think you're gonna be able to tell the difference too as well. Um, if you can't, trust me, the pump is real for sure. Plus, we're gonna get a lot of recovery out of glutamine. Arginine and L-citrulline are gonna provide that awesome pump that's a long-lasting pump. I'm not talking about 15 minutes. I'm talking about four to six hours, right? You're also gonna have ornithine in there. Ornithine is gonna be an anti-fatigue amino acid, which is gonna let you go longer and stronger all the way through whatever you're doing, any strenuous activity. Also, lysine. So we gotta help build that immune system or put strain on it. If you're working out or you're doing any strenuous activity, you're putting strain on your body, which is putting strain on your immune system. You wanna make sure that thing is built up and fortified. We're gonna go on to NAC. So we wanna protect that liver. We wanna make sure that liver is working properly and filtering everything through it like it should, okay? The next thing after that, proline. Proline is gonna lubricate some of those joint areas. It's a collagen-based amino acid. You're also gonna have taurine in there, which is gonna help for cramping and brain function too as well. And the last one is L-carnitine. So L-carnitine is gonna help all the way through the body. Blood flow, muscle pump, everything included with all these things in one little injection. That's right, so one little insulin needle filled with 100 units, that's the full insulin needle, one ML, is gonna provide you with all those benefits that we just talked about. So today we have these things loaded up where we're gonna inject some Hercules Potion and we're gonna go train. Now with that point, the first thing you should do is, is obviously you need to fill out your new patient paperwork. The second thing is you'll have your medical consultation with a provider. At that point, he'll go through all your medical history, all your questions, your goals, whatever you're trying to achieve. And then at that point, you can talk about purchasing Hercules Potion for yourself. So after you get Hercules Potion and you get it in the mail or you know, by the pharmacy, you're gonna clean the top after you pop that top, right? Clean it. After that point, you're gonna get your insulin syringe, decap it, and pull down to the 100 units. Okay, real simple, real easy. Okay, you're gonna let that little alcohol dry in there for like 30 seconds. Now you're gonna go straight into the gray stopper right in the center, and you're gonna push in the air that you pulled down to. That's how much you're gonna inject in. And you're gonna pull this down. It should come out very easy. Just keep that needle in there straight with the syringe. Don't try to jerk it around or anything like that. You're gonna fill this bad boy up. Like I said, it doesn't take too long. So once you get to that 100 units mark, you're gonna pull it out straight. Down, and grab it. Take it three times, four times. Hit out the little air. Now there's little air bubbles in there. It's not gonna kill you. You're not injecting this into a vein. Okay, this is gonna go intramuscular. Now, a lot of people have questions about that too. Like, that little needle is gonna get through all the way into my muscle? Well, yes, it will. In most places in your muscles, you can definitely get there. Um, your deltoid is probably gonna be the most optimal spot if you've never done an injection before. Um, it's probably a lenous area. And this will work, right, systemically. So throughout the body. So wherever you inject that, you're still gonna get the benefits. Now, if you want more instant gratification, you can inject directly into the muscle you're training that day. It's going to help you, trust me, and you're gonna feel more intense pumps than you probably ever felt before. So at that point, you're gonna be ready to go. Now, just load up that Hercules potion, inject it, and get yourself to training. Stop that. Stop that. Like zero degrees, I'm out the cage, gotta let out the beast. Revolutionary guy, let out the streets. Locked in a cage, I'ma let out the let out the let out the wake up, get out the sheets. We came for one man, forget my peace. You take the west, I'll take on the east. I'ma put him in a cage, never let out the let out the let out the. Yeah. I hear him chat to the noise, move too quick, can't stop for the talking. 
Please get on your knees Came from the jungle Up in the trees I got a few tricks Up in the sleeve One wrong move I'ma let out the Let out the Let out the Big shoes Check out the crease Blow like I'm Bigfoot Step on the beat Make a man's run Till he step out the cleats When the whole place scream Gotta get out the Yeah, out the Yeah I, I am trapped in the noise Move too quick Can't stop for the talking I am trapped with the boys Not so tough But man's keep walking Yeah Dress too sharp With the prize Right girls Better tell me I'm awesome Yeah Hot like fire on the pan You wanna touch my visuals, cussing? Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Yeah, I am trapped in the noise. And stop for the talking. I am trapped with the boys. Eyes, eyes keep walking, yeah. Just too sharp with the prize. Let's go tell me I'm awesome, yeah. Hot like fire on a pine. If you wanna touch my please use caution. That is Bullet Gear. Uh, I come down to see my friends over at Titan Medical, especially to get my blood work down, done pretty, pretty much every quarter just because I am very active. And uh, obviously with the pandemic, you, you want to try to make sure you optimize every single uh, level of, um, of, your, of your blood cells and your blood count as you possibly can. And for me, obviously I still live a very busy lifestyle, whether it be going on speaking engagements or doing things with WWE. I need to make sure that I'm healthy uh, and whole. And I have two sons to run behind, a 15 and 17 year old studs and uh and i want to make sure that i can keep up with them as well so i'm not getting any younger but i feel it younger every time i come up and stay on my tight medical plan and uh the doctors here are are the best they, they try to make sure they, they follow up with me all the time they uh they give me a little sporadic phone uh text messages to say hey i'm just checking in on you seeing how you're doing they uh send me emails, let me know what's going on, what's coming out, if there are any new uh, treatments and things like that that I can possibly try that'll help uh, keep me healthy and, and, and moving. And uh, I'm just very gr grateful for my friends, John and, and Sharice for, you know, introducing me to their company uh, and bringing me in as part of their family. And I'm uh, looking forward to, to continuing in health and wealth and looking all nice and lean and jacked. Uh, but I can't do any of that unless I know what blood like So that's the reason for us doing uh, drawing blood today. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcut. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're going to... What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. So, this is Labor Day edition, you know... If you guys are watching this, it's Sunday, tomorrow's Labor Day. You guys are going to hopefully be out with the family, relaxing, enjoying, you know, resting up for the week that's coming ahead or enjoying it and celebrating Labor Day. Um, so hope you guys are having a great Labor Day or are going to have a great Labor Day, first off. Second off, Cupid's Corner, what we're all about here is giving you guys tips, tricks, insight to try to help you guys further, you know, take your relationship to a whole different level, a better level. Or if you're not in a relationship, maybe learn some different things that will hopefully make your new relationship very successful. Yeah. So these are just some of the things that me and Cherise have done, went through, experienced, or we've seen other people experience. Um, you know, some of the downfalls or some of the, the don'ts or do's, I guess, the do's and don'ts of what makes a healthy, uh, flourishing relationship, right? And we always go back to one certain topic 
every show, and that's communication. Communication. You can't talk about it enough. And communication is big in every realm of your life, whether it's your relationship with your partner, your business relationships out there, um, just in general, man. It's, it's a big, big thing out there. So you want to always talk about communication because nobody's mind readers. And even when you're with your partner for 13, 14 years, yes, they might know what you probably will say or what you're probably thinking about, or they should at that point. I do. That long. But, you know, maybe not all the way. Maybe not. And for people that aren't around you as much, they definitely aren't going to know what no. you're thinking most of the time. Definitely not. Um, and they might think everything's all good and you might have problems in your head that you have not told them and you're holding it against them. Mm. So at that point, you want to make sure you're communicating, right? And communicating properly, not yelling at them, not screaming at them, um, you know, becoming frustrated. You want to you wanna communicate properly, easily, uh, so they can understand it and they absorb it. So let's get into this week's topic. <laughs> this week's topic is communication. But um, instead of telling you guys different ways to communicate and stuff like that, we're going to give you guys a little game to play at home. Oh, good luck, guys. So this game is made for couples to really learn about their partner or learn what they could do better with their partner um, so they can set themselves up for success in their relationship, right, or even down the road. So it doesn't matter if you're just getting with your partner right now or dating somebody. This will work. Or if you've been in a relationship for 20 years, you can always go back to these, some of these questions that we're about to, you know, tell you guys and then ask them and you'll learn maybe some things that you maybe, maybe did not know about your partner at all, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of different questions you can ask your partner and communicate with. We just picked out four because we're on a time constraint. We could probably talk about this for hours and hours on end <laughs> and I can write the whole playbook for you guys of what you guys should do. <laughs> but we only got a limited time here, so at that point, I want to just, just got to make sure you tune in every Sunday. Yeah, you got to turn every, tune in every Sunday. You'll learn more and more. As yeah, maybe we'll on. get some more questions next Sunday. But uh, you know, for this one, let's talk about four main questions. Let's break them down real quick. First one: If you could see two things changed about yourself, what would they be? So, if if you ask your partner, if there was two things you could change about me, what would they be? Right? Um, and there's a whole bunch of different examples out there. Right, mm -hmm. and you shouldn't take this as a, a shot to an insult. An insult, yeah. you know, this is not for that. This is to make you guys go further. So, if they say, "Listen, I wish that uh, you know, if I could change some things, that you didn't go out all night and spend the whole night out, right, and not call me at least," wow. that that could be one. That'd right? be terrible. That'd be one. Yeah. Right? Um, the second thing is, is um, I wish you'd. And this is not for me, guys. I wish you'd hold the or, or put the toilet seat down after you use the toilet because I hate sitting on a thing. No, I almost John fall always in. fixes that, yeah. So it, the, it might even be something like a little yeah. pet peeve that really just gets on someone's like they might it might irk them a little bit, and you really don't even know because nobody's ever told you. Yeah. Right. It could be something really, really minute. Yeah. And if you and and every time you do it, it might be like, you know, but you don't even know because they're not telling you, right? So yeah. you have to make sure you give them like. If you do this exercise, you have to ask and be like, hey, listen, so if you could, what would you do? These are some basic things. Basic. These are pretty basic things. And it will help, help the relationship. You know, usually people, if they love somebody truly and they're getting to know them, they take the good with the bad. So everybody has their own quirks, right? And whatever that is. And it's a lot of different things with a lot of different people. Mm -hmm. It could be you're messy, right? And somebody that you're living with or being with is not messy. And that really irks their nerves. Oh my gosh! You yeah. could, you know, be real time sensitive and want to be on time for things. And That's a have, big one. John, a if John could change something about me, I know that would definitely be one thing, for sure. I, I, I know for sure if he could be like, if he could answer this question, that would be one because he brings it up all the time. You know, like I, I went to military school. I'm on time for everything, and you are late for everything. Yeah. You are late. I don't like being late. I want to be punctual. Now, I agree. You know, and this is where I'm like, this is where this is the talk comes into play, right? Because it's like, okay, yeah, I, you're totally right. Like, I should definitely be on time to like business meetings or any meetings for that matter, things like that. Yes. However, I might disagree to some some extent that I don't want to be the first ones at a party or the first ones at a dinner or whatever it might be, I do like making my grand entrance after everyone else is there, right? So that's just my personal opinion. If it was up to John, John would probably be there five minutes early. <laughs> For sure, 100%. He'd probably be there five minutes early, 100%, you know? So 100%. It's just, a thing. that's an example, though. 100%, you know, it, uh, I go back to some of the things like I've heard through the past, you know, girls dating. The guy didn't show up for an hour and a half late. 
you know, and at that point, that's different. It's a date. You better be on time. This this goes along with everything, though. It goes along with business, right? You don't show up on time. Oh, this guy's not responsible or punctual. True, true. Th- these are these are things that you know you want to look at, right? And you want to perceive. How would you feel if you waited an hour and a half? Oh, you probably bad. wouldn't feel good about it, right? Yeah. But, but oh well, what the hell were you doing? And why wasn't I, you know, first priority on the list? Or you know, what you didn't care enough about me? Or what the hell were you doing? Mm. These are just different questions that could be brought up. So I'm just <laughs> trying to set you guys up for success instead of failure. <laughs> right? um, so ask the questions. You know, if there are different things, two things, just name two because you don't want a whole bunch of lists, right? Yeah, uh, two yeah please do not list the laundry list of things here. Make yeah. it like really, really. Don't make it a, a negative thing. This is <laughs> yeah. not a negative question. It should be a positive question. And right. you guys want to learn a little bit deeper. Maybe your partner, you know, thinks these different things. And, and you you don't care. You're like, oh, man, if I knew that, I would have did it right away. Right. Right? That, that doesn't bother me. If it does, you guys need to talk about whatever the hell it is and come to some sort of agreement and compromise. Yeah. So what are your biggest fears about the relationship? Now, this is a pretty good question. Even in the beginning of you guys talking, dating, and you know, putting forth together the effort to, to create this relationship. Oh, because all kinds of questions, I think, in the beginning, for sure. I mean, especially this one. Like, what are your biggest fears about the relationship? Even if you've been in a relationship for six months, eight months, you know, what are the biggest fears? Cheating. And you could get cheating, right? That's um, probably top. There could be a lot of different things. Or, I think you're irresponsible, right? These are, and these are going to be some serious, you know, things that you guys are going to be talking about, mm-hmm. possibly. So, if it gets into that deep dive conversation, you guys can be, have to be open-minded and talk like adults about it and be mature about it, right? Mm-hmm. But, you know, these could, could let you know right away in the beginning, like, oh, man, she's worried about me cheating. I got to make sure that, you know, I don't give her any um, inclination inclination or insight that I'm cheating or, you know, that I want to cheat. You know? Yeah, but if you knew this in advance, you'd be able to set it up where right. you're successful in the relationship, right. right, if you actually asked. Right. Um, you know, fears that, hey, listen, you know, you might leave me. I'm worried about people leaving me. I've had abandonment issues in my life. I've had my father or mother leave me when I was a kid, and and now that's all I think about it. I don't really want to get close to people because I'm I'm afraid they're going to abandon me, right? Uh, And there are people out there like that, man. They, you know, they want to get close to somebody. You know, somebody finds interest, they start getting a little close, and then they start getting that anxious feeling of, you know what, Uh I'm going to push this person away because I don't want them to leave me. I don't want to be in that situation ever again in my life. Um, it could be abuse. It could be a lot of different things out there that people have past traumatic situations that have happened to them, and they don't want to bring it to the new relationship or forward in their life. But it's or a go scar. Through it ag- or yeah, go through it again. It's a scar, right? And so they might put up blocks yeah, and walls. They put the walls up. Yeah. You know? So you know, we got to think about that, right? And you, you know, whoever your partner is, if you really care about them and love them. You want to give them that. You work with them. You want to give them that safety net almost right. to a degree. You want to comfort them and, you know, you want them to feel positive about the relationship. So you guys can move on and grow. Okay? Next one. This is a big one for everybody. I think everybody will learn from this one. How can we improve our intimacy to take it to the next level? Now, this just isn't <laughs> videos and lingerie. <laughs> I just right? said that. To him. that. That was the first thing she said. Oh, people aren't just going to say, you know, videos and lingerie. All right? <laughs> or toys. Okay? So... <laughs> You know, that's one aspect of intimacy. So when we talk about intimacy, we talk about physical intimacy and mental intimacy. Mm -hmm. Um, And, you know, males are stimulated in different ways than females. Most males are stimulated by physical touch, right, or or, or visual. And most females are stimulated by different things. Mm -hmm. They can be, you know, your IQ, your funny, ha, 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 whatever it is. Like, females are different creatures than men, right? (laughs) So it's going to be a little bit different for everybody out there. You know, some female could be like males and they just want the physical touch or whatever it is. But at that point, you guys need to talk about intimacy. And intimacy could be, like I said, mental stimulation. Um, or females, they want different things, romantic situations, right? And or maybe does, something you don't yeah. want. You, I mean, of course, I got to be the, you know, the negative Nancy over here. Maybe you can discuss things that you don't want. I, I got a good example. So one thing, you know, some people, they do this thing called, like, it's called makeup. We'll call it makeup intercourse since the ABC. Um, you know, and they get into a fight. And then, you know, that, that they, they, you know, make love and that makes it all better, right? Well, for some people, that doesn't make it all better. It, it, and in fact, the whole time that you guys are, are having this moment, the other person might just be like, this is, I, I can't even, 
connect with you right now because I'm still so upset. Mm -hmm. So, and, but some people, hey, listen, they might do that. And that's like their way of, hey, listen, we did this and it's all over, you know? And that, that Blowing works. off some steam. That works for some people, you know? But for some other people, they're just, I don't know, I may, just maybe not there, you know, for me, especially females, maybe just not there, you know, mentally to be able to really enjoy it or you know you guys are still in the midst of like well, females do it too so i don't think it's just a male thing that would, would uh, i think know, it goes both this. ways for sure it, it, i think it, uh, females can do the exact same thing males can do and think that hey listen let's, oh, for let's sure. have this moment and then we'll just get over gonna it right? everything's gonna be fine after that <laughs> you know uh, and, and it's true out there so yeah. it might have happened to you and, and listen you can think about what your thoughts were in that right and just where you're at mentally and like i said Talk about these things. Talk about what can increase intimacy. Maybe it's going somewhere new, right, mm -hmm. and being together, or doing a romantic, you know, getaway or day or whatever it is. But these will increase intimacy. Talking and communicating will increase intimacy, right? It's mm -hmm. mental stimulation. So that's another one. The last one. If you had three wishes hmm. to wish for your future with your partner, what would they be? Right? Three wishes. So, me and my partner. Me and Cherise, like, what are the three wishes I, I, I would love for us to do, right? Mm -hmm. And I can say this, right? I want to I want to take our business to new heights. I want to take our family to new heights, right? And I want to take our health and make sure our health is number one priority. Just trying to go to Greece, guys. If, if we could have those three things, then I think that I would be very content, right? Because <laughs> that's, that's what I want. And you can want different things. And it could be, I want the trip to Greece. I, I wish, do. I wish we could have the trip to Greece. I want the trip to or, Greece. Or, you know, to the Turks. Or, uh, you know, I want us to buy, you know, this car. It could be anything. Right. Uh, and you'll learn more about your partner and kind of what they want. You know, and this is a good exercise to, to do that with. So it's a good one. I know that some of these questions, uh, you know, might, might be, be touchy. They might be a little touchy to, you know, in, in regards to your relationship. But I promise you, it will better your relationship. Sometimes these questions or conversations need to be brought up. Or they will never be brought up, and you have animosity, or you know, you won't be kind happy. Just, kind of just go. Then, then you just go with the days, and it just like you know, you get up, you do it again, and then you go to sleep. You get up right. and you do it again. It's just repetitive, right. and you get up and do it again. Right. At some point, you guys finally will just yeah. part ways. Yeah. It, it happens. You look for new excitement out there, new things. Yeah. You know, stimulus, stimuli. I guess of the brain or any other activities out there. So. Uh, <laughs> These are just some tips and tricks for me and Sharice. These are just some of the questions. Now, there's a whole bunch out there. You guys can research this for yourself, or we might bring up some more of these questions on one of these next episodes that are coming up. So stay tuned to us every Sunday on ABC, 11 a.m. If you guys didn't DVR it, don't worry. We got your back. Check out YouTube. Type in Titan Medical Center. Check out our social medias on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, guys. We appreciate you tuning in. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you next week on another Cupid's Corner. See you then. There you guys. <laughs>